Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. I figured I was going to start doing something new and uh, try making some HTML tutorials and uh, possibly some other tutorials later on. But HTML is very useful. You can use it for making websites and uh, web pages. So it's uh, always good to know. So in order to start programming HTML or writing HTML code, what you're going to need is you're going to need a plain old text editor. Um, I'm using a program called Notepad++, which is free. Uh, and can be downloaded from uh, notepad-plus-plus.org. Um, it's a it's a really good program in my opinion that you can use to write all types of programming languages: HTML, JavaScript, basically anything: PHP, Perl, uh, Haskell, Flash Action, action Script. Um, so all types of programming languages, as you can see. Um, however, if you don't want to use Notepad++, you can just use uh, the regular notepad program available on Windows or another text editor if you'd like. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do if you're using Notepad++ is you're going to want to set your uh, document type to HTML. Um, and you're going to want to do this because the program recognizes the language and it'll actually change the color of different tags and uh, text and stuff to make it more readable for you. So once you've done that, you should save your file. Um, we're going to save ours as we'll say web page dot html it's always good to include the dot html just so you know what it is and if you're not using um, notepad plus plus and it doesn't predefine it for you um, you'll know what it is and also if you're using regular notepad make sure you save the file type as all files okay so now that we've saved our web page we can begin writing the html code which will uh, tell the browser what to do with the code and what you want the web page to be displayed as so each HTML document has some basic tags that you're going to want to start off with and uh, the first one is HTML and um, you're going to need a beginning HTML tag and an ending HTML tag to let the browser know just that you're actually using an HTML document and that this is the end of the HTML document. Um, a tag is basically some text between two brackets, the triangle looking brackets. Um, you're going to need a left and a right and then the text goes between and um, most tags, not all, but most tags have a closing tag um, which tells the browser to stop doing it after the closing tag and uh, that's just you, by you, you can just create one by using a forward slash at the beginning uh, of the bracket here. So once you have these two tags, this is telling the browser everything in here is going to be for an HTML document. The next tag you're going to want to use is called the body tag, oh, no never mind, the head tag. The next tag you're going to want to use is called head and what head does is it says tells the browser that anything between here is going to be in the header. Uh, some things that are in the header include the title of a web page, uh, meta information, and other code that might, you might not want to be seen, maybe a, a script. But anyway, move this down here. So the head is just um, some basic information. So we'll put in our head, we're going to put a title, and we're going to also have an end title. And the title again is just it's what's up here in the browser. For example, uh, on the Notepad++ website, this is uh, the title right here: Notepad++, and then version 5.9. So you can set the title to be whatever you want it to be. In our case, we'll say first web page, and we'll say oops, we'll say home, just so uh, people, if we have a multi-page website, people know where they are, but just by looking up here. So in order to do that, we can save this, and we can launch it by going run launch in Firefox. If you have another browser of course you can launch it there but uh, I'm using Firefox so we'll just launch it in Firefox. And as you can see it's, there's nothing here on the web page but up here in the title you can see first web page which we entered right here. So you can change that if you want to to correspond to your web page but this is uh, just what we're going to do for the tutorial here. So once you have that just um, put me this down, we can begin adding some text to the web page in order to do that, whoop, error here, forgot to close my head tag. So in order to do that, to add some text and other image images and what whatnot to this part of the website right here, you're gonna need to create a body tag. This is called the body of the web page. So the body tag is just bracket, body, and then another bracket. And body does require a closing uh, tag. So for anything that's written between these two tags will show up here in your website. So what we're gonna do is we'll um, the first thing you're probably going to want to learn is how to make a header 
and you can use these for putting titles on web page basically any large text uh, maybe creating a title for a, a, a small section of a website or something like that and headers actually come in um, different sizes you can have a large header and then just get smaller and the, the code for a header is h1 and there's a closing tag and there's the next size smaller is h2 with a closing tag and then h3 closing tag and we'll go up to h4 here so the larger the number the smaller the header will be so we'll just give you an example here head one head two uh, head three and we'll say head four so if we save that and we go to our web page and refresh it you can see head one is the largest and then followed by the other heads here so these are great if you want to make a title or um, something like that on your web page so for ours we'll say h1 we'll say first web page and then we'll close that because if we don't close the tag everything underneath will appear as a header and it's just going to be you don't want large text all over the place like that so we'll refresh and here we have first web page oops spelled page wrong but anyway the next thing you're probably going to want to do is add some text to your website so there's two ways you can basically do that you can either just enter the text right out into the uh, page just like that and refresh and it'll show up or you can use a paragraph tag instead and I'll show you why so these are two lines of um, text right here and when next we're going to use a paragraph tag which is just the letter P between two brackets and then we'll enter text we'll say paragraph Oops. and uh, also paragraph tags need a closing as well and we'll enter another paragraph Oops, sorry about that so paragraph tags act uh, pretty interesting in that a paragraph tag will put space between web, a web's um, two paragraphs whereas the other uh, the other text that we entered is just plain text entered right in and the reason that the paragraph tag puts space between it and this doesn't is that basically the computer will, will read your text uh, without spacing so you could basically set these two tags up next to each other like this and it'll still look the same as you can see here um, so in order to have a space between these two we should put a paragraph tag or you can use uh, a break but that's basically paragraph tags are good so you don't have text all over the place and it's, it's more organized and it has a space between it uh, so it makes things easier to read anyway uh, this is it for the first tutorial um, but please feel free to keep watching the next tutorials um, and if you're interested in what I'm up to, please feel free to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash jamiemcg. And for tech news, tips, tricks, how-tos, and other stuff like that, please feel free to check out technicalcafe.com. Thanks for watching.